Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of July 3rd through the 9th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you are new to me, welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel and my readings. I do read intuitively, so even if the cards don't resonate or the initial message does not resonate, stick around for the entire reading as I do get channel messages throughout, okay? Wow, King of Cups and Queen of Cups. We've got a soulmate couple here, two people that really, really get each other on an emotional level. I'm hearing some of you that have maybe experienced pain or trauma at some point in their life going through the healing process. Maybe you've kind of kept things to yourself under wraps. I feel like you are with someone or you're meeting someone that can relate to you on that level, right? They understand where you're coming from. They understand your pain. They understand your trauma. They understand your anger. They understand why you say what you say, do what you do, act like you act, right? I feel like that's been a really long time coming for some of you. This feels like you're saying, finally, somebody gets me, okay? But it's not true, Sag. I do feel like there are other people that understand, but I feel like you never really felt as comfortable to open up about certain things with just anybody. And, you know, I don't blame you. Not everybody needs to know all your business, right? <laughs> but in any case... We have the star as your major arcana for the week ahead. Oh, and before I forget, remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. The sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a live bonus reading. And I will be going live this week and uh, probably more than once a week. So make sure your notifications are turned on. Four of Wands, King of Cups, Six of Wands. I feel like this is uh, someone who feels finally like in some sort of emotional ease, right? If you grew up in a very, you know, toxic home environment, abusive home environment, I still feel like uh, like your inner child wounds sometimes come up to the surface. I feel like some of you even feel like you've been orphaned one point or another. And, you know, maybe some of you are, you know, have been orphaned. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct term, but yeah, like you were maybe put up for foster or you were, you know, were bouncing around from placement to placement is what I'm hearing. But I feel like you're in a good place right now, Sag. I feel like you are really uh, doing something about staying in your best emotional balance, right? I feel like there has been some resistance for you to do this for quite some time. You've been used to keeping your emotions hidden or keeping your emotions to yourself. And you only allowed people to see a few things at a time. Like maybe someone spoke to you about a traumatic event that happened to them as a child and you're, you're like, dang, that sucks. And, and you realize you relate to this person and you realize that this person won't judge you or, or you know make you feel bad for what you went through as a child or whatever. And so you decide to open up to them. And every time you do that, Sag, you process the pain. You understand it a little bit more. Not that it's forgivable, but you understand it so that you can, you are able to then process it, heal it, release it. Say, uh, you know, I don't want to see you anymore, basically, you know. And you never want to feel that energy again because the worst thing that happens is that you know, that type of pain or emotions or trauma, it comes back in the most unopportune times. Okay, I do feel like somebody here uh, has had certain flashes or instances of, um, I I'm hearing you you may be reliving old pain that you have no idea why it's coming up to the surface is how you're saying it but I feel that there has been something that triggered an old memory uh, so definitely keep that in mind there is something that perhaps it's an old wound inner child or old relationship it could be past you know love relationship past love friendship or family situation because we have the four of wands here but I do feel like there is this strong uh, need and want to heal a family situation 
to be able to come together with your family, extended family, friends. Uh, I feel like there's been a lot that has gone on that has kind of kept you in confusion and disillusionment of ever being able to fix an unhealthy, dysfunctional family situation. And if it's not family, it could have been circle of friends, it could be work environments. I don't really get work, but could be. Uh, but definitely feels like this is an emotional imbalance either in your home, in a relationship, in a friendship. That is really, I don't want to say it's coming to a close because there is still work that needs to be done. But I do feel like things are going to start moving forward for you as you really start to understand where your pain comes from, where your anger comes from, why you say, do, think, act the way that you do because of triggers that have happened. And I know this is really deep, uh, Sag. I don't know where this is coming from. Maybe some of you have been, you know, trying to go within, do the shadow work, the, the release of old stuff so that you can welcome the new because with this four of wands and six of wands definitely feels like you are welcoming the new. Uh, you may be purchasing a new home, a new vehicle. I feel like there is so much abundance that's on the horizon for you. And it's like mentally you can feel it, taste it, know that it's coming, but emotionally you're just puzzled right like you're dumbfounded like there is something that's going on within you on the inside that that you're questioning and saying I, sh I know i should be happier i know that i should be more excited than what i'm feeling or or showing about a new job a new career new home new car new relationship marriage family And so you start to question like, is there something wrong with me? Am I incapable or unable to really feel those happier moments, the excitement, the emotional fulfillment? I feel like that's your seven of cups. Like realizing that sometimes there is a roller coaster of emotions and they're not always good. Right? I mean, we can go through a roller coaster of emotions in terms of happiness, joy, uh, playfulness, fulfillment, uh, you know. Be, I keep hearing flirty, like you're just having the time of your life, flirting with life, flirting with experiences, flirting with new people, you know. But I feel like the Seven of Cups is, is more confusion because you're like, oh, success is coming, but at a price. I thought they were my friend, so I'm glad they're like realizing that they're not, but oh wow, they're not my friend either. Okay, well I'm, I've won all this money or I've got all this money coming in, but I also feel like I'm not seeing everything clearly. Hmm, here we go, another mountain to climb. What's next? It's like you're, it's, it's like there's something stopping you from seeing all the good and, and showing gratitude. And it's like, you know, mentally you, you, you know, you feel it within you, but for whatever reason, you're not really feeling the emotions attached to it. And like by emotions, I mean the positive emotions, like the happiness, the cheerfulness, the joy, the, the, the contemplation of, of like, yes, I can't wait. I know, I know that this is aligning with me. I know I'm manifesting this. And, and you're just like, why can't I feel the happiness? You know, like maybe somebody here finds out like after trying for so long, you get pregnant uh, or you're expecting and you're like, I've been wanting this for so long, but why am I not happy? Why am I not jumping for joy? Why am, what's wrong with me? Am I not happy? I do get that sense of feeling confusion and frustration with yourself on an emotional level, your outcome. Look at that. King of Pentacles, King of Wands and 
seven of swords and again at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of pentacles some of you may be seeing the numbers 777 uh, if you are i do feel like spirit guides guardian angels are definitely showing up for you uh, letting you know that whatever path you are going on is and will be divinely guided even if it does not feel like it in the time being but definitely look up 777 for your own meaning that it may resonate with that is what i got when I heard 777, okay? Also, the date 77 this week is a very positive day for, for manifestation. And then soon after that, we'll also have uh, the super moon, full moon in Capricorn. This is my Capricorn energy here with the king of pentacles. Now, king of pentacles, he's got the Midas touch, right? Like what he turn, what he touches turns to gold. Abundance, manifestation, he is the man. He is the person. He's your guide. He's your mentor. He's your financial backer. He's your banker, whoever, right? If this isn't the energy that you are currently in right now, this is someone that you are looking up to, looking to be like, wanting what they have. King of Wands is your energy. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I do feel like this is your energy with the King of Wands, right? That's my Sagittarius King. However, he is also the one who's more committed to change, who's more committed to getting up and go and not procrastinating and not having to have second thoughts. He's like, oh, moving buying a home making a million bet let's go instantly gets up oh it's two in the morning no worries we do research we'll wait till the sun comes up it's all good oh you mean that store that company they're not open right now it's all right where there's a will there's a way with that king of uh wands okay however the seven of swords comes up i feel like this is almost self-deception that you can't be, do, have, accomplish what it is that you want. This is like mind fuckery. And it could come or stem from maybe being in an unhealthy household where you were gaslit, where you were meant to feel like you didn't know what you were talking about. You were clueless or point blank, I hate to say this, but I feel like someone here was even made to feel stupid where they literally called them that. And so if you went through that, Sag, I, I am so sorry you had to go through that because no child should ever go through that. Even an adult, what am I talking about? No one should go through that. No one should be told they're stupid or they don't know any better or anything like that, right? But the seven of cups with the seven of swords, I feel like, you know, you kind of get stuck in your head about, you know, doing the right thing, being a part of someone's life. And it's like, I think I've done all the healing work. I've done all the release work. I've done all the money manifestations to get me this, uh, you know, career, to get me this salary, to get me this house, this home, uh, to, you know, get me into a much more elevated space, mind, body, and soul, spirit, right? So I do feel like you're almost in this reflective mode, but in a very pessimistic point of view. And so I feel like I need to pull additional cards for that because you got to get out of that. You, you got to get out of that. I'm hearing it like you got to get out of your funk when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. It's coming. I'm telling you. Uh, the Hermit card, Virgo energy. And Ace of Cups. Listen, you really are worrying about nothing. And oh my God, you really are worrying about nothing oh my god i'm taking that okay listen you're in your head about whether or not you're able or capable to make all this money to be successful to buy a home to you know live in wealth in you know in living your best life to bring in generational wealth and abundance to your family and listen ace of cups ace of pentacles and the will of fortune are saying hell yeah sag don't ever doubt it. Don't ever doubt it. I don't, and I just heard, you got to tell them you don't care how old you are because some of you may be a little bit older and you're like, yeah, right. My, my train has passed. No, ma'am. No, sir. Don't start using your age as a reason to not be successful. 
and I heard boy please. So it could be you, it's you as a male or girl please. Someone is like trying to talk themselves out of not doing what they've always wanted to do because of their age, because of their, you know, maybe experience or lack thereof or finances. Like I can't fund my own company. You know, I, I can't, you know, you start off small. We all make sacrifices. Where there's a will, there's a way. I feel like I need to title this reading for you like that. Because there's a part of you that's feeling a bit, a little bit self-defeated. Angel Oracle. Look at that. The moon. What you're not seeing. The lovers. Queen of Earth. One more. The lovers just came out in the Leo reading. So uh, if you have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with the Leo, you might want to check out that reading. That one was a little bit tough. Not going to lie. Four of air, which is four of swords. Okay, so let's get clear with these. The moon card, right? Things that may be hidden from you that you're not seeing right now. Like the ten of pentacles, like all that abundance, all that money, all that success. Positive changes coming on the forefront. But also trusting your intuition. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. Hello, did I not just say that? Did I not just say that like two minutes ago? Go back two minutes. I'm pretty sure I said it there. Um, the lover's card, Archangel Raphael. If you do feel like you need to heal a relationship, a partnership in love, friendship, family situation, definitely lean on Archangel Raphael to send, you know, his healing energy. Do a little bit of research on him. If you do feel like you need to heal uh, deeper emotional wounds, I'm not saying it's a substitute for medical or therapy, you know, clearly disclaimer alert. Uh, if you need that kind of help, definitely do that. I will say that first and foremost, but on a spiritual level, it really will help you to connect with your higher self, trust your intuition more, and you will be able to identify when things are a little bit out of sorts much more quickly and clearly. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your options and good health. But I, the card says good health, but I'm hearing to tell you better health. So if you've had health issues, you are turning over a new leaf, okay? So again, Virgo energy, you have the hermit with, Vir that's Virgo energy. Queen of Earth to me is Virgo, but it can be any Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because we do have the King of Pentacles here, and that is my Capricorn King as a reader. Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. You really do need to forgive yourself for things that were out of your control, especially when you were at an age or a time of your life before you knew better, right? Don't fault yourself for not knowing better at that time because, hun, you know better now. Point blank. Four of air. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. That reminds me, I need to book a hotel. <laughs> Sorry, I need to write that down before I forget. Meditation may provide answers. Definitely do the meditation work. I do feel like it will come in handy for you to really get the clarity that you need moving forward. I feel like that was Source Spirit Guides reminding me, hey, you haven't booked everything. You got to book everything. <laughs> Wisdom of the Oracle to close out the reading. What is the most important message Sag needs to hear? Love it. Love it. A change in the wind. I, you, I believe you're like the third sign that has the card of change in the wind. And Scorpio had this. I don't remember who had this one. Could have been Capricorn or... Honestly, I don't remember anymore. These two already came out in one of the readings that I already posted up. It was either earth or water. So imagine, oh, now I remember who got this. I believe it was cancer. So if you have cancer in your chart, uh, check out their reading. Uh, imagine just for one moment what it will look like, feel like, what your day to day what the energy around you is going to be like, the type of people that you lean on, that you talk to every day when you step into the life you've always wanted, step into the career you've always wanted, 
step into that relationship down that you've always wanted and i just heard down the aisle so some of you have been wanting to get married or you know pursue a higher level of uh, commitment with someone and maybe there are fears of commitment whether on your part or someone else's but i feel like you've been warming up to the idea if that's the case but i do feel like spirit is saying you know stop overthinking stop stressing out and just daydream just imagine float on the clouds above you like as though it's your higher self looking down on you watching you you know moving into a new life because they do feel like it's there for you success is on the horizon for you an opportunity for new life you've just got to let go of all that confusion and put it behind you and so if you feel like you've been trying to manifest a specific outcome and things haven't been playing out the way you had been hoping or had planned nothing ever needs to go as planned we've got to trust the process we've got to trust source we've got to trust the universe it doesn't mean your end goal is not going to manifest it just means you may have to be rerouted momentarily you may have to go the scenic route there may be another experience or another person that you need may need to interact with before you get to your goal, your manifestation, your next level. And you gotta be okay with that. You gotta be flexible of, you know, anything that gets thrown your way, a wrench, a speed bump, a slowdown, um, you know, a detour. I do feel like at the end of the day, you will be where you need to be at this time in your life, even if it does not match a specific idea that you have for yourself. Okay, Sag, that is your reading for the week ahead. Make sure you check out your July reading. Your playlist will be here and more than likely your July reading will be here. Uh, so all the Sagittarian readings are in one playlist. You wanna check that out if you are looking at other readings I've done for you. So thank you guys once again for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views gets a bonus live reading. And I do believe I owe you guys one this week because I believe you and Virgo were the ones for last week's that had the most um, likes and views. So I got to double check that list. I will be going live within the next couple of weeks and um, actually within the next few days, I should say. Hopefully this will already go live by then. <laughs> uh, so I may go live before this post. I hope you don't miss it. But at, as I was saying, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. Let me know down below how this resonates with you. And I cannot wait to see what's next for you. Like I said, your July reading is out. You've got a summer love reading that's going to come out soon as well. And next week's reading. So have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye.